sure it does sound pretty cool. It's it sounds like it's like a Star Wars movie or something like I, that. We're live. War. We are We're live. live. Hello. What is up, guys? How are you? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Freaky Friday. It's actually Ooh. not too bad in terms of the weather out there. Uh, 35, 37, something like that. Snow's like melting a little bit. Yeah. Let's get rid of that snow. Let's get into some warm weather. Mark my words, though. I've been telling people that the last snow that we had just a couple days ago, that's, that's the last snow of the season, guys. We're moving into spring. Hopefully, because um, next, next week next week we're seeing forties and fifties and stuff like that. Anyway, we digress. Ryan, what are we doing? We we are doing a podcast now, and uh, we're not yet ready to reveal to you the name of that podcast. However, we're working on a couple things on the back end. That's why. True. However, today we wanted to share with all you guys uh, kind of a little bit of history of where we got together yeah and how we got started exactly and uh what our plan is moving forward with this podcast so hopefully this is going to excite you guys because we're super excited about it the origin story the origin <laughs> story uh which is going to lead me into levi talking here because i want you guys to know as well as me because sometimes i'm probably not going to know the answer to some of these questions but levi tell me Something. Oh my showing. gosh! Um, tell me how you got started into. Well, actually, how we met. Yeah. You know, because I don't think a lot of people know how we met. A lot of people know what we do. True. But how did we meet, and what drew you to me? Okay. I mean, that's <laughs> that's really. I'm just joking. It's not about me at all. <laughs> but I just thought it was funny. No, you you know what you're kind of you're kind of right about that actually. So we, you know, uh, me coming to Nebraska back in 2015, restarting my mortgage career here, um, and just trying to really build and lay groundwork for a really good business for myself, and then also really work with some people who um, are also passionate about helping out clients have the shared kind of shared morals, values, and ethics that I do was always really my goal. Um, so seeking out those people. I used social media um, really for my business to help grow my business, especially initially when I got started out here in 2015. And um, also use that to try to, you know, find other people who I could work with that I could share, um, that would share the, the same morals, ethics, values, all those things, as well as um, what I was trying to achieve for my clients, because that was really important to me. Um, so yeah, I came across your, your profile and you were just hitting it hard, dude, on video especially back then when nobody else was doing it, you know, I was just kind of Facebook creeping. And I'm like, this guy is super interesting. He's got everything going on that I'm doing and that I want to do also. Um, so I just kind of watched it for a couple of weeks just to see what happened. And you were doing your primetime grind times like super early on then. Like I think that was like right when you started those. And uh, yeah, so I reached out, messaged you. Yeah. And uh you know, we, I think we sent a couple messages back and forth on Facebook or whatever. And then we sat down and had lunch and the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> as it were. Yeah. <laughs> so here, I'm going to get to the something that you said, but I have to chime in. So when you messaged me at the time, um, I had already been at that point where I just, I was getting a lot of people like wanting to reach out and yeah. like network and especially yeah. lenders and stuff because of our yeah. field. And no doubt. I was like, Oh, dude, like, do I want to go meet with another lender? Yeah, yeah. And I'm glad I did, because for those of you that don't know, um, not only is Levi a business partner of mine, but he's a really good friend of mine and uh, someone I respect and look up to a lot. And uh, so I'm glad we, we sat down and had lunch because we clicked right away. Sure. Yeah. People can kind of see that now. Um, I have a lot of people ask me as I'm coaching and mm -hmm. as I'm networking with my coaches around the country as well and students, like, how did you form that relationship yeah. with Levi? And I'm like, I don't know, it kind of came natural. Uh -huh. Like, <laughs> it, it was that first lunch, but then it was like natural. But right. um, I'm gonna move back into something that you said because I think this is key for our listeners and uh, the goal of moving forward with this podcast. You mentioned, I sort of did some Facebook creeping yeah. and uh, wanted to find out a little bit more about you and your videos and all that kind of stuff as you were talking about me. But sure. 
um, a lot of people still say to this day, I just can't do video. Yeah. I just can't do the social media thing. Um, and I think if you're, if you're an entrepreneur in any way or you're a business person, you have to understand something as we move into the next year, the next two years, and so far in the future, that if you're not doing stuff on social media, yeah, you have to be. Uh, you have to be. Social. You're going to be in trouble. Yeah, especially video, right? Um, because we know statistically, mm. two years from now, it's, in fact, it's probably less than that now since I've heard the statistic, but eighty some percent of the internet is going to be moving. video. It's moving to video. So if you're not building a video portfolio, you better start working on yeah. it. I mean, that, that, I think that to expand on that, I think you're 100% right. That's true about anything. I mean, think about it, guys. Anytime I go online, I'm looking for how to do something or Googling something. The first thing I'm doing is going to the video over the article. Yeah. I don't want to sit there and read an article for 15 minutes. I want to watch a one minute or a two minute video where somebody, t recipes, whatever it is, where somebody tells me what to do, such as life. Everybody has that same mentality. We look for the path of least resistance. So touching on what you're saying in your point, video is absolutely, if you're in a social space or a sales space, it has to be something that you're utilizing for your business. Yeah, yeah. I agree. So go ahead, sorry. No, that's, that's what I was gonna say because I, I find it interesting that that's how you found me and that's how we yeah. connected was yeah. through social media. So if that's how you and I connect and that's how you found me, you know, that's how other people are gonna find you if you're out there trying to um, make something of yourself True. or build a brand or something like that. Yeah, that's that's actually a really great point, guys. So yeah. add validity to the whole thing. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, that's really how we got connected. You know, I think we did, we sat down, had a couple other follow-up meetings, talked about our process and the things that we were looking for, for each, out of each other. And uh, we kind of hit the ground running, we started doing events and things like that with each other and just trying to grow. And not only our personal relationship, but also our business relationship. And uh, yeah, yeah, from there, kind of. It's it, it's really funny, like, I'll have people come up to me and they'll be like, so do you get a cutback when you and Levi, like, do a deal together? I'm like, no. Nah. Uh -uh. Like, I no, it's, it that's not how it works. <laughs> um, but but uh, I literally, like, I refer people to you because, like he said, we share the same connection where it's like yeah. we want our our clients to be taken care of from mm -hmm. that personal relationship level yeah. and i know he's going to take care of them as if they were my family right and so when you have that type of relationship it's easy to do anything moving yeah. forward um and that's where a friendship develops and goes to a different level too but anyways we're getting sidetracked we are. um rabbit trail uh -huh. squirrel <laughs> um so um Levi, can you kind of talk about, as we've met, and we've kind of wanted to make this podcast an experience, um, the best experience possible for people to provide education, information, all that kind of stuff. What brought us to this point? Wow, that's a deep question there, because there's been a lot of little mm -hmm. things, I think. But, um, you know, a big part of that has just been really trying to connect with you guys, our audience, um, and figure out a way to better provide value uh, to your, not only your lives, but also just your day to day, you know, bouncing through the world of looking for trusted people to work with, um, looking for recommendations on social media, things like that. We were doing conversation corners for a whole entire year. We did one almost every single week. Um, trying to bring people information about mortgage and real estate, which is our bread and butter. That's how we, you know, earn a living in our day to day lives. But um, feeling like, you know, hey, that's great. We're giving a lot of great information and those videos are out there. We encourage you to go look at some of them if you're interested in learning more about those things. But wanting to add value to our, our, our bases in a different way outside of just us redundantly talking about what we do constantly which really led us to just kind of um, idea farm this, you know, podcast idea where it's like, well, how do we get people in front of our audience and yep. get them to engage with people that we engage with, who we trust, admire, look up to, kind of all of those things. What's the best way to do that? What's the medium of, medium of communication? And, and that turned into social media, right? A podcast, do it live, upload the information later so people can go look at that. Um, 
but really a way for us to bring people and actually really give people access to our network and our trusted advisors as well as people that we look up and admire in our community. Yeah, I would agree. You summed that up pretty well. Yeah. Um, you know, because I think as we move forward, that's one thing that we always want to provide to our clients is, hey, we want to be that resource for you and that community expert that has these types of connections now around Omaha that we can put you in touch with. Yeah. You know, we're not just lender and real estate, yeah. you know, like we're that resource that says, hey, do you need an attorney to talk to? Do you need a, a physician? Mm -hmm. Do you need an inspector? Do you need an electrician, a plumber? Um, all these things that, and people, mm -hmm. right, that we need uh, throughout life as we go through it, especially yeah. when you buy a home, right? you know, it seems like after you buy a home, you start a family, you have all this stuff and going on, and then something happens and you're like, oh, I don't have someone for uh -huh. that. You know? and, <laughs> and where so do I find them? How do I make sure they're Exactly, and not only find them, but I think it's a lot harder nowadays to be in that trusted network where it's, right. okay, that's great, I need a chiropractor, but how do I know which one to go to? Right. Well, now we're hoping to provide that resource to you, whether we bring them on the podcast or we obviously have that trusted network where we share that information with yeah. you. That's kind of the goal. Exactly, but also in a format where these people aren't coming on and just preaching about the service that they offer. What we really wanna do is provide a, a window into these people's lives, um, so that way you can figure out more about who they are, because ultimately life is all about relationships. Um, our business is mainly about relationships. Many businesses are that way. So you wanna know that people that you do business with, you can trust ultimately. Um, and part of trust is just knowing who someone is, usually down to their core, right? Yes. So for us, I think providing that access into um, someone's backstory, how they got started, what their life looks like, um, uh, challenges that they've overcome, starting that business, growing to where they are, maybe you know, even getting to know us uh, you know, throughout that journey, what has that looked like to bring them to where they are today? And I think that's a way that we're really gonna be able to provide value back to you guys. Yep, amen to that. I love it. Cool. Um, I, I had another question <laughs> that was coming to mind and now I lost it. Yeah. Um, but it was a long kind of like those lines as far as our podcast. So we might be here doing our podcast. Yeah. We might go somewhere. We probably will take podcasts. it on the road. Yeah. A bit. Which I like. Yes. Because you're going to get different environments. So here's the thing. You might get someone that uh, we have a trusted network connection with. Or it might be a place that we like to really go chow down and eat at, or, or spend time or spend time yeah. or something like that and then you're gonna not only get to see the food that we're eating which is kind of cool yeah but you get to maybe hear the story behind that restaurant and how it began and all that kind of stuff or that too, business exactly. or that business um so that's kind of a taste of what we're gonna ha, taste of omaha oh, Ooh, that's already dang. taken though yeah. we can't use that taste of omaha right there for you guys but um <laughs> That is kind of the goal in so many different aspects. Uh, so I really hope that as we move forward with this podcast, the other thing we didn't mention, you know, which is kind of big, huh. um, we can't mention any names right now, but we've got some pretty big names of people that are going to be on the podcast um, that are people that are very successful entrepreneurs, um, small business owners. Yeah different things like that that are going to provide insight to us as far as how did they create the culture that they created yes. um how yep. did they become so successful what got them into that right um what are some secrets and some tips that they can give to others yep. that might be thinking about wanting to go down that path so that really excites me because likewise ultimately yeah you know you love hearing about okay how did you build it give me the steps yeah or the solution to get there. No doubt. Um, and no I doubt. think that's gonna be super cool. Yeah, so definitely stay tuned, guys. It, it, we're gonna be, again, like Ryan's touching on, we're gonna be providing access and a window into 
a lot of awesome people, especially locally, who are just really moving the needle in the Omaha market. Um, you know, like you foreshadowed a little bit, there could that could be a restaurant entrepreneur, that could be um, someone who owns a local business um, or something like that. I think our GoPro's dying. That's Man, our GoPro is. just went down. <laughs> went down. Um, but uh, but stay tuned because we're gonna have some awesome people on, and I think we'll start to trickle maybe some of that out on social media as we get the pages up and running. We'll start to trickle out a little bit of that info so you guys can have an idea of who that person or individual or business owner is gonna be. Um, you know, at least a couple of days before they come on, and it'll definitely be super exciting. It won't just be Ryan and I here blathering, even though yeah. we know you love that too. But uh, but yeah, we're very excited about it. Selfishly too, because there's some people that, especially some people on the list that you know he knows that I don't know, that I'm very excited to get one on one, and vice versa. Some people that yeah. I know that he doesn't know that he's very excited to talk to. So I think that's going to be really cool and entertaining for you. I would agree. Mm -hmm. So super excited for you guys. Um, super excited to finally get digging into this a little bit and yeah. get everything set up and ready to roll so next time i mean we might be having we're gonna a have guests. Guest we're gonna have here. guests next week for sure um, we're gonna get somebody so, on here next week yep next week um it's busy it's tax season we'll see who it is we got a couple ideas in mind but uh just stay tuned guys i think sometime next week we'll trickle something out there yep. but for sure next friday tune in to podcast formerly conversation corner and we will have an awesome guest on for you and some great information. And a new name. Yeah. With other stuff. Truth. To follow. <laughs> so, anyways, happy Friday. All right, guys. You guys thanks have so much weekend. for tuning in. Oh, there's the finger. <laughs> oh, oh.